After the second war against the Orcish Horde, King Gen Greymane sealed away his country behind a massive wall to protect his people. Isolated from the rest of the world, a terrible curse swept through the land, forever changing the Gilneans. Now, Gen Greymane has left his home to enter the Nexus, bringing with him the curse of the Worgen. <laughs> Greymane is a shape-shifting assassin who can whittle down his foes from range, then transform to finish them off. Greymane's passive trait, Curse of the Worgen, highlights his power to transform between a human and worgen when certain abilities are used. As a human, Greymane attacks with his pistol at range. As a worgen, Greymane dives into the fight as a melee attacker, dealing bonus damage. His first ability as a human is Gilnean Cocktail. Greymane hurls an unstable elixir towards an enemy that explodes on contact, dealing light damage to its initial target and heavy damage to any enemies behind them. As a worgen, Greymane's Q changes to Razor Swipe. With a powerful slash, he lunges forward and deals damage to any enemies in range. Both forms benefit from unleashing Greymane's inner beast. This ability greatly increases his attack speed, refreshing its duration with each continued attack. Should the buff happen to fall off, the ability will enter a short cooldown. Greymane's third ability, Dark Flight, causes him to leap at an enemy, dealing damage while shapeshifting into worgen form. As a worgen, Greymane's E ability becomes Disengage allowing him to roll out of melee range while transforming back into a human. Of course the sword is just for show. Greymane's first heroic go for the throat is as direct as it sounds. He leaps towards his target, shifting into worgen form and slashing multiple times for heavy damage. If he manages to take out an enemy using this ability, for a short time, he can cast it again for free. Marked for the kill is Greymane's second heroic option. Using this ability shifts Greymane back into human form, firing a single, long-range shot that marks the first hero it contacts. Marked targets take increased damage from all sources, and Greymane can reactivate the ability to leap towards the target, shifting into worgen form. Switching between human and worgen form is a delicate art. Skilled players will know when to remain at range, poking an opponent down in human form versus charging in as a worgen for maximum damage. Use Dark Flight to dive towards an enemy with low health, snatching up a kill. Be careful though, diving in with Dark Flight could cost you your life if the enemy team is prepared. When in worgen form, use Disengage as a means to escape from dangerous situations. It is important to keep in mind that Greymane's core weakness is his lack of self-sustain. As a player, make sure you have support heroes backing you up. When opposing Greymane, capitalize on moments when he's out of position, as all damage dealt will stick. Gilnean Cocktail and Inner Beast are Greymane's main tools of destruction in lane. Switching to Worgen form and using Razor Swipe against minions can also aid your pushing potential. In team fights, use this ability as an effective means to maneuver around quickly in melee range. Looking to finish fights for your team? Go for the throat is the heroic for you. Dive in on a target and apply a substantial amount of damage. If timed correctly and used in succession, Greymane has the potential to mop up team fights. For those confident in their skill shots, Marked for the Kill is an aggressive heroic that your whole team can capitalize on. Use the vulnerability applied to the target to encourage focus from your team, then dive in as a worgen to finish the job. Greymane is the master of his curse, unleashing the beast within to turn the tide of battle to his favor. Master the art of shape-shifting, and no foe will escape your wrath.
Make sure to subscribe to Heroes of the Storm here on YouTube and around the web, and we'll see you in the Nexus.